Hello everybody, it's lovely to be able to speak to you. Welcome back to school. And I know you've been back uh, about a week now, but it's lovely to, to say hello and to know that you're all back together again, enjoying the company of friends and your teachers and being able to interact with each other. It's so important to us as human beings to be together. So I'm now going to join you for a very brief few moments of prayer for every class in school. Uh, hopefully be able to join in at some point. You know that we're now in the season of Lent, a time where we try and change ourselves to be better people, to follow Jesus' commandment, to love one another. And our Lenten journey is symbolised by the colour purple. The colour purple reminds us of the word penance, of saying sorry, of trying to do better, trying to be better, trying to be the the best people that God calls us to be. But this Sunday of this weekend has been Midland Sunday, but it's got another name, which I'm sure you'll all know, Mother's Day. It marks the halfway point from Ash Wednesday to Easter Sunday. And we don't wear purple on this day. We wear a lighter colour in celebration to say that we're halfway there to Easter. And it's this colour. My lovely pink vestment, or as the church likes to call it, rose, because it's a colour of celebration. It's a lighter colour. It's like if you mix purple and white together, you might get this sort of shade. So I'm going to put this stole on. It's a very special thing for a priest to wear, and he wears it whenever we're praying together and we're celebrating, and we are celebrating. We're celebrating our mothers, our grandmas, every important person in our family, and we're also celebrating our journey of Lent. So as we say sorry to God for the times we've got things wrong, and as we accept other people saying sorry to us when they've wronged us, we pray together the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And we pray for our mums, our grandmas, and indeed all our families, because they remind us, as they love us, of God's love for all of us, which is expressed especially through the love of Mary, the mother of Jesus. So we ask her to bless us, and all our families and friends and our schools as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we make all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye everyone, I'll see you soon.